This is Trinity. Hi, I'm Sandra Guffey, an elder here at Trinity Presbyterian Church. In Matthew 6, Christ instructs his apostles about prayer. He tells them not to stand out on the street corners and pray just to be seen by men, but rather go into your closet and pray. And the Father, who sees in secret, will answer and reward openly. Well, this is not my closet, but this is my office here at City Hall. And this is where I go to pray with the Trinity Zoom prayer meetings on Friday mornings. 11 o'clock, we all tune into Zoom, Pastor Bill leads us in a devotion, and then we take things to God in prayer. 1 Thessalonians 5.17 tells us to pray without ceasing, and I find that days at work give me many opportunities to pray. You know, those prayers for patience, prayers to keep a trap over my mouth, and especially prayers for wisdom. Now is the time to pray and not give up, because prayer changes us. It builds up our families in ways that we really cannot. It strengthens and blesses the church. It influences cities and nations. It enriches our communion with Jesus, whom we will someday see face to face. Prayer is where wisdom is gained, prisoners are freed, families restored, sinners repent, Satan is bound, and Jesus is exalted. Whether you can join us for this prayer meeting or not, I want you to pray on your own, and I encourage you to make this a praying church. Great things happen when God's children call on him in prayer. We are in the midst of an exciting transition in church, and prayer is paramount. Philippians 4, 6 through 7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As the church building opens, we'll have in-person times of prayer as well, but I challenge us to use this time to pray without ceasing wherever we are. Please contact Juanita at church with your prayer concerns so that we can lift you up. If you have ideas for ways we can incorporate more prayer in the life of this church, please let me know. Contact me at sandraguffey at gmail.com. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. This is Trinity. Remember that you go nowhere by accident. Wherever you go, God is sending you. Wherever you are, God has put you there. God has a purpose in you being there. Christ who indwells you has something he wants to do through you where you are. Believe this and go in his grace and power and love. Amen. This is Trinity.